Good morning, and welcome to the Crafty Canary for In the Word on Wednesday. Today we're continuing our month-long look at the book of Philippians, and we're in chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Paul goes on in this chapter to tell us to have the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus, who emptied himself and humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death on the cross. So we see that this is not an easy calling in any way, shape, or form. It's quite contrary to what the world would have us to do and opposite of what our human nature wants to do. I'll be honest, this was a very difficult devotional to prepare. As I thought about and meditated on these verses, it seemed like everywhere I turned, someone needed something from me, wanted me to do something for them, or rearrange my schedule to take them somewhere, clean up after them, make a doctor's appointment for them, so on, so on. And I found myself irritated and not fulfilling the role that I feel called to as a wife and mother with any kind of joy. I'm challenged when I think about how often I do things out of selfishness. Even when I'm doing things for other, other people, am I considering them better than myself or am I just looking out for my own interests? When I do something for my husband or my son, am I doing it with a sigh of irritation and reminding them of how I had to rearrange my schedule in order to help them out? My desire and my prayer is to remember that Jesus emptied himself for my sake on the cross and that as I seek to serve him, that I would empty myself for others, forgetting about my own selfish needs and dying to myself and to my schedule and my own desires. How much better would this world be if every Christian took this passage to heart and obeyed it? The world wants us to look out for number one, meaning ourselves, but instead let's look out for each other. Let's put others' needs before our own so that we can truly serve others with the help of the Holy Spirit with the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next week.